Well, hello YouTube, Dude RV. Hey, appreciate y'all stopping by. As I spit on the camera, hey, I appreciate y'all stopping by. Texas visiting all of the Texas state parks and this will be number 55 that I have been to there's a lot of cars on this highway so anyway we are at Fort Parker State Park I got the scooter I got the GoPro and I got you let me get this camera seated and we're gonna go check out Fort Parker State Park Cue the music. It is March 13, 2020. The coronavirus is just now becoming a real concern. There's no toilet paper to be had anywhere in any store. People just want to make sure they can wipe their behinds when the world comes to an end. So Fort Parker State Park was constructed by the CCC. An interesting little fact on the historical marker at the front gate. The CCC company that constructed Fort Parker was African American men. They also rebuilt the actual Fort Parker, which is not too far from here. Uh, it is no longer part of the state park system, or as it once was when I when I was a kid, it was part of the state park. But now it's a uh, special interest group that is maintaining it and they're doing their best to maintain it so if you come out here to Fort Parker State Park go over there and pay a visit spend a couple dollars so that they can have some revenue to maintain the reconstruction the reconstruction itself is part of our history but Fort Parker major part of the history here in Texas. Fort Parker was the, it was not a army post, it was a private, you have to uh, pardon the flapping sound, that's my jacket. I keep trying to fix it so that it doesn't flap, but I'm not having any success with that. Fort Parker was established by a church group that immigrated here from Missouri. And most of those settlers were slaughtered by Native Americans. Uh, several were taken captive. And one of those was a young lady who ended up marrying the chief and had a son by the name of Quana Parker, who was the last chief of the Comanches. Whoa. 
lots of history right here in this little area. And it is very pretty. The blue bonnets are blooming. That's always a good time in Texas when the blue bonnets are coming out. All right, so we're gonna run all the way down here to the primitive camping area, and then we'll come back and look at the rest of the park. It's not a real huge park. Bigger than some, but not as big as a lot of them. Residences accessible through the park road. It'd be all right having a state park right in your front yard. Kind of like Blanco State Park. All those houses that are right there opening up off the park. nose is stopped up thanks to all of the pollen in the air. sure that we're still in the state park. that uh, those primitive sites back there were the was the end of the park. I don't know. Looking at the map, it didn't look like it was this far to the end of the road. Uh, there's something ahead of us. Okay.
there's the end of the road. And a another boat ramp on the Navasota River. How about that? Wild hog trap. Do some primitive camping back here. while you're fishing on the river. got to be a problem for us. Like every state park I go to, there's an ongoing battle with the pigs. They're very destructive. This is a good place for Leon right here. Buster won't have anybody bugging him. in the beauty.
we're gonna now cruise through the cabin, the cabin loop. One time it was green shelters, but now I think they've all been converted to cabins. slow on this one. The road is really, really rough. Tax dot needs to come ten to this road.
Parker State Park. Now, I was in that site right there when I got here and it was so steep, I couldn't get level. I maxed out the hydraulics. Duty. Fort Parker State Park. <laughs> Man, I love these scooter roads. Oh, I appreciate y'all coming along with me for the ride. Fort Parker State Park. Hey, if you enjoyed our drive through Fort Parker State Park, if you enjoyed our ride through Fort Parker State Park, hey, give me one of those thumbs up. And tell all your friends about Dude RV. For those of you who have subscribed, I'm so deeply honored. That's why I do what I do. If you've not yet subscribed, please do. And click on that bell as well. I post new videos every Sunday morning at 10 a.m. Sit down, pour yourself a cup of coffee, and go for a ride with Dude RV. Thank you so much. Hey, that brings us to the end of this video. Y'all come back now, you hear?